It is Make Ahead Monday, and here with a roasted red pepper dip, food blogger, author of the upcoming Yay! cookbook, Yay! Love to Cook It, <laughs> our pal, Sama Dada. Good morning, Sama. Sama. Good morning. Good morning, you guys. I miss you. <laughs> oh, we miss you, too, but we want to get started right away. The star of the show, red peppers. Yes, red pepper. So this is a great way to use up those roast, those red peppers that you kind of left in your fridge, forgot about from last week. Super easy to make, too. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with my red peppers. I've got two here. I've halved them. I've de-seeded them. And now all I'm going to do is drizzle them with some olive oil, and then I'll season them with some kosher salt and some black pepper and a little bit of cumin. So it's kind of nice, subtle flavor, really delicious, and super easy. I'm also, on the same kind of plate, I'm going to roast some garlic. So what's nice about garlic when you roast it is that it kind of gets this really soft, caramelized flavor. So that's going to really impart a lot of delicious flavor into this dip. So all I'm going to do here, just drizzle the garlic with some olive oil as well, wrap it up in some aluminum foil, and put it in the oven 450 degrees, about 20 minutes for the peppers and about 30 for the garlic. Okay. Does the garlic, does the garlic still have the skin on it? Yeah, so we're going to keep the skin on, and then, Dylan, when it comes out of the oven, it's going to look like this, and the cloves are going to be super easy to just remove, and we're going to toss everything into our blender. So okay. I'll take the cloves out, and then I'm going to also put in my peppers. Just straight into my blender, and you know, the peppers, you want to kind of have a little nice char on the top, so you can kind of see it's a little black and around the edges, and we're just going to kind of get in right there, and it'll be nice and fork tender as well. Mm. What consistency that, are you looking for? Yeah, so also once we add in our lemon juice, we've got some raw al almonds, a little mm. bit of olive oil, and the consistency is going to be really smooth, but it's okay if you've got a little nice texture from the almonds. We love some texture here, but it's going to be smooth, and it's going to look like this. I just finished it with some olive oil, a little Yum. freshly ground black pepper, some parsley, super delicious, really nice to serve with some crudite crackers, whatever you kind of serve your dips with. Would it make a good sauce, too? Dylan, how funny you asked this because it is amazing sauce. So I'm actually going to show you how to make a super quick pasta sauce using that same dip. Okay. So I've just got a pan that I've heated over medium heat. I'm going to add some canned and crushed tomatoes. I love a canned tomato. So convenient, so easy. I'm going to put that straight into my pan, add a little bit of olive oil, and then I'm also going to just add my dip. So it's really nice because you've got a lot of different flavor components mm. going on. You've got the almonds. You've got the lemon juice, olive oil. I'm going to put that straight into there. We're going to simmer this together for about 10 yes. minutes. Feel free to season it to taste with salt and pepper. And then I'm going to add my pasta and some pasta water. Hmm. Well, some of these, right these, after this that. looks fantastic. Wow. We cannot wait to try it. And for folks who want to try these recipes, head to today.com slash food. Always good to see you, Dada. So good to see you, Sama. Everything good you make is you always know. I'm good. always making your recipes. They're yes. delicious. Yes. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.